After a crash involving a motorcycle, that rider was killed. Well, I hate to see so many new riders out here fail and then give up riding a motorcycle because they do so many things wrong. In this video, I'm going to tell you the worst things that new motorcycle riders can do and try to help you avoid doing them. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. A lot of times, new riders, the number one thing they fail to do is actually acquire all their motorcycle gear before they even get a motorcycle. A lot of them, they don't wear gear or they'll just get a helmet. They think just get a helmet and they're good. They don't need a jacket, gloves, pants, boots, nothing. Just a helmet. No, man. You know you got the rest of your body. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because oftentimes when you go down, your body's going to take the worst beating. But I'm going to tell you, I have links to all of my awesome gear if you want to get it. Such as my airbag vest to help keep you safe out there on the streets. My ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tint shield. My favorite helmet ever. My motorball camera. My gauntlet gloves, jacket, boots. All my gear I include links in the description and comment section of this video. The second worst thing a new rider can do is they go to the DMV. They take the written test or it's on a computer now. And then they go buy a motorcycle. That's, that's stupid. Listen here, man. And then they often get a faster motorcycle like this MT-07 here, which I'm telling you, this is really not for a new rider, especially if you haven't taken the MSF class. I mean, look at this. I mean, this bike has got some bump. Woo! Oh, man. I mean, this thing, <laughs> this is, I love this bike, man. I've had liter bikes, and I'm telling you guys, the MT-07 is not a bike for noobs, especially if you haven't taken the MSF class. If you get your temp license, you know, go take the MSF class immediately. Don't go buy a motorcycle, okay? Bad. That's a bad thing to do. The MSF class is, they're going to teach you some skills that you need out here that's going to help keep you safe out here on the streets. Don't think you know everything because you watch some YouTube videos of some motor vloggers teaching you how to ride and you think you got it down. <laughs> but another bad thing that new riders do, they'll ride for a year and then after a year they think they have all the skills in the world. That's the worst thing you can do is ever be overconfident out here on the streets. You know what I'm saying? It's, you, it's going to take you many years to acquire skills, especially, you know, defensive riding. That's the main skill that you want out here on the streets is defensive riding. Don't worry about trying to fly around a corner real fast, which that's another bad thing that new riders often do is they want to emulate MotoGP riders and they think it's cool to get a, a do a knee slider around corners, you know, speed through the corners. You know, but oftentimes a new rider will go hot into a corner, then they'll hit the brake because they'll start to panic and get scared because they don't have the skills to go around that corner doing 100 miles an hour. And then next thing you know, they end up crashing. No, a knee slider is not a trick, guys. This is a byproduct of speeding around a corner, racing at the track, not on the street. It's not a cool trick. Stop doing it. And another bad thing that new riders often do is, you know, once they get their temp license, they'll go buy a motorcycle and then they'll put somebody on the back, their girlfriend on the back of their new sport bike, <laughs> setting their girlfriend up for a real effed up day <laughs> because they lack the skills to ride a motorcycle with the added weight on the back. They can't even ride a, really ride a motorcycle themselves, let alone putting a rider on the back and risking their life. <laughs> and do you realize that if you crash, your girl and your girlfriend has a real effed up day or dies, do you realize that her family is probably going to sue you for everything you have? <laughs> you run the risk of being liable for her death and being sued. You know what I'm saying? So. Honestly, I don't even ride two up, guys. I, 
don't, I, w I don't recommend riding two up, man. Um, because, you know, having that added weight on the bike, which oftentimes the bike is really not set up for that added weight. And it can slow down your braking, your response time, everything. I just really don't recommend two up riding. Instead of two up riding, get your girlfriend a bike. Both of you guys get go take the MSF class and then go buy a motorcycle together after you, you pass the, uh, the MSF class, okay? It's more fun riding with somebody else that's got a bike instead of them on the back. And it's scary being on the back of a bike, with, with, especially with somebody that's new to riding. Even a seasoned rider, you know, you could have a real effed up day out here on the street. Car pulls out really quick on you. You got all that extra weight depending on how big your girl is on the back. You got your big girl on the back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's going to slow down your braking time even more. It possibly set you up, obviously, for a real effed up day because you can't, you can't break in time because you got that, got that big gal on the back. <laughs> also, when you new riders end up crashing out here on the street, another bad thing that new riders do is they quit riding because it scares them. They're scared. But you know what? If they crash in a car and they get hurt, they, they don't have a, a second thought about driving in their car again. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to a motorcycle and they crash, oh my gosh, they, it scares them to death. And then they go around telling everybody how dangerous motorcycles are, man. And I hate to see it. That's why I'm doing this video, guys. And I, I do these videos often every now and then is because I want to help new riders out there and I want them to be able to ride safely out here and to keep riding. You know, and so they I don't want to see you guys have an effed up day and give up riding and, and, and then bad mouth motorcycles. You know what I'm saying? They already got a bad reputation as it is. Some people have to learn the hard way though. They're not gonna listen to Cycle Cruiser. They're gonna do what they want to do. They're gonna listen to their squid friends that don't wear gear. Speeding out here, racing each other, try flying around corners, trying to get knee slides in, busting wheelies and stuff like that. And that's another thing, that's a bad thing that a new rider can do is right off the bat try to learn how to do a wheelie out here so they can impress people. Wait till you get some skills after maybe a couple of years of just riding out here on two wheels before you start to learn how to do a wheelie. And if you want to learn how to do a wheelie, take it to the parking lots, man, and, and practice there before you get out here on the streets and try to uh, bust some wheelies out here to impress some, some chicks out here which don't care about you out here. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah, baby. Make sure to hit thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when I release my new videos. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So until next time, catch you guys later.